Uh, and today I'm looking at two different CMS or content management systems for the web. One of them is called iWeb from Apple and the other one is WordPress. And WordPress has just won a prestigious award that is the Open Source CMS Hall of Fame Award. And that's in the WordPress News. And as I come to the um, awarders of the Hall of Fame, the category is reserved for those CMSs that have won the Open Source CMS Award at least once in previous years. Follow up was Drupal, followed by Joomla. I'm joined now from Trinity College in Dublin by Matt Mullenweg, who's been attending that web summit in Dublin. He's the founder of WordPress. I suppose many people who are involved in the technology sector will know about WordPress, uh, but for others, t t tell us what it is. Sure. So WordPress is open source software created by a community that basically makes it easy for anyone to start a website or a blog and used from everyone from big guys like CNN and the New York Times all the way to about 25 million bloggers all around the world that use it to publish. So it's not just blogging software as we've been led to believe in the past. It is also web software. Let's just go and have a look at uh, WordPress. Here we have Justin Guarini. And I've had a look at this site, that's why we're going to go and visit the site. Here's the main page, that's built on WordPress, just looks like a normal website. You can go into a page called Justin, which will probably tell you a little bit about him. Yes, there he is, little boy growing up, etc. And um, this photo page, this comes in for me uh, because I often have albums where I've got artists that want to feature their work. Well, there you go. That's a good way to look at a painting. Up comes a larger image when you press on one of the thumbnails. Particularly of interest to me as a videographer. So go into the video page. Once again, all the thumbnails come up, but underneath the thumbnails, you press them and you get full page video from one of the uh, widgets. From the geeks right to the jocks, there's a spirit in the hall. You can feel it in the wall. On Song Island. Oh. If it's the waist up, can we all take off our pants? Yes. 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 So we're going to get out of WordPress now, and we're actually going to go looking at sites that I've done using iWeb. Um, one that I did that was not going to be used on the web, but was done for uh, a DVD hand-in for TAFE this year, was the MediaVox site. Now this site is available offline and using very easy quick and drag process I was able just to click and drop my QuickTime files exactly as you see them here. I just clicked the QuickTime, chose the size for it and dropped it into the web page here and then using the links I was able to create links to video podcasts audio podcasts, stock video, my sound library, and back to the home page. That was all done in iWeb. Now, that is one of the beautiful things about iWeb. You can just take your images, place them exactly where you want it, but you do have to watch your file size when it gets to things like videos and images, because if you're going live onto the web, those can become huge. So you really need to look at the widget options that iWeb offers. Let's have a look at Design2TV. This is my own site in iWeb. And what that gives you the ability to do is to come over here to the media browser to look at the widgets where you'll see HTML snippet, iSight movie, iSight photo, Google Maps, YouTube and mobile me galleries. All you do is you grab the widget and drop it onto the page I've grabbed this HTML snippet over here. I've dragged it onto my web page. You'll see the code up in this HTML snippet. And that is the code that takes you to this video that is in the video viewing screen now. So that's about it for this comparison between iWeb and WordPress. Um, I need to keep this short. So we've just looked at a few of the basic features that apply to me as a videographer and a web builder for artists. Uh, I hope you've benefited from that. I'm not going to conclude about which one's better because I think each one has tremendous uh, merit in its own right. Um, iWeb for very easy content management and for very sophisticated, up-to-the-minute, cutting-edge technology. Um, uh, I think WordPress takes the, uh, the cake there for content management. And it's been David Smuha. Hope you've benefited from this.